sometimes Plan 2D will fail to make an isometric and you have no idea why. So here are seven ways to fix the broken isometric generation. The first one is going to be a bit stupid, but restarting the whole program it can sometimes really help with uh, isometric generation. It might be by the way that the project file is set up or the database, but it's a very easy step, so that's going to be the first step. The second step is going to be to do a plant audit and a compress. So if you type in audit, plant audit, this will check the whole project to see if there's anything wrong, and then you can compress project. And purge history, then I would only do this with backed up programs. Uh, and then after you start plan restart plan 3D, this can help with the isometric generation. The third one is to purge in the DWG you're working on. So purge all the items. The fourth step is sometimes in Blend 2D it will fail to make an isometric because it's trying to make an isometric that's too large. This has something to do with the breakpoint generation, but you can definitely help it by adding your own breakpoints. You can go here to the breakpoint button and then select a part of the pipe. Uh, here I have it set. Um, extension. Uh, you can also set it at a node like this. Especially when you get the error for ISO pipe ended to 109, then adding breakpoints can definitely help. The fifth way to fix the isometric generation is to close the file you're working on. And then go in here to menu, recover, and then open that DWG you're working on. This will recover the whole file. Usually it's about objects that are still connected to the part that don't work correctly. So after recovering, that can definitely help with the isometric generation. The sixth way to fix the isometric generation is to make an isometric of the small parts of the line. So for example, we are looking at this line here. Under ISOs, you can make a quick ISO by just selecting part of the line. Like this. Yeah. It will only create the isometric of the parts you select. So you have to be very specific on your selection. And you also, because it will also need to have the welds added to it. So I just removed this weld because I just want to test this part. And this way you can just go through all the different parts of your pipeline. And then at some point your isometric will fill and then you know at what point you are getting the errors from. And then you have uh, no extra options like recreating that part or something else. Uh, yeah. you, can s you can do this by selecting the parts, and then going to Quick ISO, and then here you can create a Quick ISO. Uh, and when it's done, you can check if that generated correctly. And one of the things you can do afterwards is especially at the points where you get the failure, is, uh, and that's the seventh point, is to reconnect the parts. So you can do that by selecting the weld here, and you can press delete, and as you can see here, the part is now unconnected. And then when you click it, then right mouse button, and then connect component to adjacent, clicking on the second part, it will now reconnect it again. So after saving, 
you can rerun the isometric and then see if that worked. 